<laughs> you looking like that? It's not that I don't want you here. Yeah. It's something about the way you said to my eyes. I know that I don't make things clear. I fall for you every time I try to resist you. We can get away. Palm trees, beach views, would have never day. All I wanna hear is that this is how we play. Right next to you. Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. I am recovering from a cold, so I don't sound right. <laughs> and that just is what it is. Um, but thank you guys so much for returning to another video. We have another home update vlog. And I'm excited because I have some stuff to show you guys today. So the first thing I want to do with y'all is do an unboxing because I have a bunch of Amazon deliveries. Well, not a bunch. I have a few Amazon deliveries that I want to show y'all. So let's go ahead and get into that. I need to open all this stuff today because I am going to be, um, actually Bernie and I are going to a comedy show tonight in Richmond. We're going to go see Earthquake and I want to um, have everything I need to take back to Amazon in the car and ready to go, which means I need to, you know, open everything, see what's what and decide what's what I'm keeping and what I'm not keeping so I can drop everything off at UPS when we head down there. The first thing I have is actually not a home update. It's some boots. So I got these from Amazon. They were a really good price and I thought that they were cute. So I was like, let me just go ahead and try them out, see how they look, see how they fit. And, ooh, they feel good. This is what they look like. I'm gonna try them on real quick. We'll see how they fit. I might wear them today since we're going out. I ordered a size 10. That's my normal size. So hopefully they are true to size. There's no zipper or anything. You just have to kind of pull them on. They're not too small. They feel good. They look good. I think they're cute. So yeah, I'm probably going to keep these. I'm definitely going to keep these. Yeah, I think these are a winner. These were not expensive at all. I think they were like... $30? Like maybe less than $40, I think. So yeah, these are definitely a good black boot to have, you know, just to have. So, yep, I'm gonna keep these. Put them in my closet until I'm ready to wear them. Y'all, my wrist hurts. I don't know what it is, but my left wrist is so sore. I think it's because I slept on it wrong or something, and it's been sore for a few days now. I don't know what's going on. 30s definitely hit different. I'm gonna say that. <laughs> <clears throat> So the next thing I ordered is some shower caddies. So I actually ordered another set first, but then I saw this one and I was like, oh, this is better. And let me show you why. I'm gonna show you how the other shower caddy too. But first of all, this one is a three piece set. It has um, a soap dish, which I really love. Um, and then it also has, of course, the clear suction cups. It's nice and wide, so you can put, you know, bigger, larger things in here, like big shampoo bottles and body wash bottles and all that kind of stuff. Has the grates in the bottom so that all the water can drain off. And then it also has these hooks on the side that you can hook, like, loofahs and stuff to. And that's what we are really missing in our shower now. Like, we need somewhere to hang loofahs and all that kind of stuff. So I really, really love that. Um, so you get four hooks um, per shelf, two on each side. You can see the two at the top right here, two at the bottom. So yeah, I mean, what's not to love about this? Um, and again, like I said, two piece set, so a three piece set, so you get two shelves, two shelves and one soap dish. So I'm gonna go ahead and mount this in a bit and we'll see how it turns out. <clears throat> I'm kind of like, I don't even want to really open the other one because I feel like this one is gonna be so much better. But I'm going to show y'all anyway, and then we'll see what happens and decide, you know, maybe it'll surprise me and I'll choose that one over this one, but I doubt it. Um, so the next thing I want to show y'all is something else that is for organization, really just about, you know, making sure that everything has a place and that things are um, not just being left 
everywhere and just you know things ain't just all over the place basically um, and that we can have an aesthetic environment so if it's aesthetic and it's for organization I'm gonna be with it I'm gonna want it that just is what it is um, I spent a minute looking for the perfect one of these so this is actually a let me open it so y'all can really see but it's a Ziploc bag organizer. So up here you put your gallon bags and then you put your snack bags, sandwich bags and quart size bags. How cute is this y'all? I love that the writing is not like too crazy looking. It's really simple. It's just kind of like um, almost carved in to the bamboo. I love that it's black. Y'all know I love black. Black is, black is, black and white are just chef's kiss love it um I, but i didn't want this in white i wanted this to be in black so it could be nice and sleek um so yeah i'm excited to put this in one of the drawers and see what we come up with how it looks and all that i'm actually gonna film a reel not a reel maybe i'll post it on instagram too but i'm actually gonna film a short for this um you just slide it out put all of the stuff in the compartments and then you slide this right back in super easy so y'all everything that's from amazon is going to be in my amazon store just in case you're new and you don't know that. So if you want to know where anything that you see in my house is from and it's not linked directly in the, 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 blah, 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 in the description box, it will be in my Amazon store, which is always linked in my description box. And everything is organized by the room that it's in. So if it's in a kid's room, then it's going to be in the kid's room section. If it's in my room, then it's going to be in my room section. If it's in a the kitchen or the bathroom, you'll see sections for those things as well. Now let me show y'all the first shower caddy that I ordered. I actually saw this one on Instagram on a reel. And I was like, oh, that's nice. Um, so I bought this one first. But then I saw the other one and I was like, oh, that's nicer. Um, oh, this one has hooks too. Okay, so I didn't realize that. I might keep both and put one in the kids' bathroom and one in mine. Okay, so this one is actually really cute too. Let me show y'all. But this one is a two-piece set. It's not three. You don't get a soap dish with this one. And this one was more expensive. Both of them are inexpensive, though. So it's not like, you know, a huge difference between price points. But this one was definitely more. I think this one was maybe like 25 or 30. And that one was like maybe 20-ish or a little less. Um, so this one's actually really cute, too. So this is what the front looks like. And then it has um, the grates in the bottom to keep everything in and on the back side and on the actual sides. And then it also, of course, has this so that you can hook it on. And this will stick directly to your bathroom wall. And then it also comes with these hooks. So <clears throat> I'm thinking what you do is hang this directly on here. Yep. That's not as cute. I'm going to be honest. That's not as cute. It gets the job done, but I feel like I like the style of the other one better, especially since this is going to be like when people are trying to grab things off and like it might just come off when you're trying to grab your loofah off of it or it's just more, hmm, it's just a little bit less functional. I feel like in real life, I feel like this is going to be annoying. Um, so I might send this one back. I don't know. But yeah, I definitely think I like the second, the one I ordered second best, the one I showed y'all first. I think I like that one better. I think it's a better value and I think it is, has the best functionality. Uh, as long as it works when you actually put it up on the wall in the bathroom, in the shower, I think it's perfect. We got some new cutting boards. So look at these y'all. Look at the, uh, how they look like. They have this like um, trapezoid kind of cutout. Let me show y'all. Hold on, these supposed to be black, and this looks gray. I'm gonna have to go look on the online real quick because this is definitely gray. Like, is this not gray? Hold on. This was supposed to be completely black, and it's gray. So I'm gonna have to look online and make sure they didn't send me the wrong thing. Cause that's a no for me. Okay, yeah, I ordered black and gray. They only had black and gray, black and white, black and blue, blue and white 
gray and white or another blue and white is that purple uh, blue and white purple and white yeah it's black and gray so they sent me the right thing it's hard for y'all to see I feel like it's not really showing up on camera but yeah it's black and gray so yeah I got the right thing I just wanted to make sure they didn't send me the wrong thing I didn't want to order open it and then have to send it back if it wasn't the right thing um, I thought I had ordered just straight black though I don't remember ordering black and gray but clearly I did because <laughs> that was what was in my order um but yeah i do not like having to pull out i like the cutting board that i bought the, the bamboo one that has the containers and you can kind of scoot things you know cut stuff scoot it into the container and all that but for like a small job where i just want to cut up a little bit of onion or i just want to cut up a little bit of tomato or you know like cut an avocado or grapefruit or something like that it just does not make sense to pull that big thing out and then have to wash it it's just like a whole to do and unless I'm cooking a big meal, it's not worth it. So I wanted a set of cutting boards that would give me a little bit smaller one. And then also, you know, some larger ones too. So yeah, I got this set. I don't know how I feel about the gray though, honestly. I think what I'm going to do is go online and look for some all black. I love the shape of the handle. I think that's super cute. But I don't like the gray. I'm going to be honest. The gray is not... It's not it. So I probably will send these back. Yeah, I think I'm gonna send these back. I don't really like them. So these are gonna go back. And yeah, I think that's it as far as um, Amazon deliveries. I'm about to go ahead and film a short for this, for um, putting these, for putting the bags in there. I also wanna film a short for these shelves, for putting up these shelves in the bathroom. Because I want to start making shorts. That's one of my new, one of my things that I want to do for the new year. Just start to um, get more visibility for my channel through making short form content in the form of YouTube shorts and TikToks. So, yeah, I want to start posting the TikTok again for sure. Um, <clears throat> just because you can, get, you can grow so much faster on TikTok and then you can kind of just push people to your YouTube videos from TikTok. So if I can do that, that'd be great. And also if I can grow my TikTok, then I can start to do... Um, partnerships and sponsorships on TikTok as well. I think there's, is there? A, oh no, it's not, I thought something was on my on the screen. So yeah, um, <clears throat> let's make a couple shorts. Okay, I got the first reel filmed. I could have really propped y'all up and let y'all watch me filming it because I ended up filming it on my phone because this camera just was not capturing it like I needed it to. But um, I got all of the bags out of these boxes and into. The bag organizer, it looks so good. So you can obviously just pull one of these bags out. They're labeled, everything looks nice and organized and cute. The only thing I don't like about this is that this comes out really easily. So to fix that, what I'm gonna do is kind of line it up on this side of the drawer. And that way it can't, you know, just open random, like, not randomly, but if you touch this, it's gonna come out. Like if you put any pressure at all, <clears throat> on this side of it it's going to come out um, but yeah so you just pull out a bag everything is here it's nicely organized now I just need to um, hopefully find one for the foil and uh, what is it foil plastic wrap and parchment paper if I could find one that fits here that would be perfect like if it would fit right in here I need to take measurements <clears throat> Because in theory, it should fit, right? Like that's a perfect fit. So if I can find something that's exactly this size and it's also black, that would be perfect. I'm gonna measure this little area right here, see if I can find something that'll fit perfectly into this space. But yeah, and this drawer will be done. That's so, I love it. I love it. I love it when like things work out perfectly and this is, so far working out perfectly. Now I just need to hunt down what I can put these three things in that'll also fit in this drawer. Now, another thing we need to talk about is that look what Cody did to her new chair. This is after she scrubbed it. This is pen. Also, she keeps stuffing it under her desk, which is putting it in contact with the um, screws that are under there and it's creating all of this discoloration, which is irking my nerves y'all don't even understand so i'm about to try to clean this chair see if we can come up with um a solution to try to get most of this stuff off of here 
But for now, I have taken her chair from her because I just feel like if you're not going to take care of your stuff, then you don't need to have nice things. Because I, for one, am not paying all this money for you to uh, just treat your stuff like it's free or like it's trash. So if you can't take care of your things, you don't deserve to have nice things. And that's just what it is. So um, I took her computer away. I took her chair away. I took pretty much everything, all of the leisurely stuff out of her room. And um, I took her makeup away. I took everything that she can make a mess with. And she is no longer allowed to have pen in her room. So when she um after i feel like she's learned her lesson i'll give it her stuff i'll give her her stuff back and we'll see if she can do a better job of taking care of it and if not i'll just have to take it again because this stuff costs a lot of money y'all and i'm not trying to uh <clears throat> i'm not buying stuff just for them to ruin it just because they're bored or just because they feel like it so that's not what we're doing um so yeah let's clean her chair and then i'm gonna use it in my office probably for this week because I don't even have an office chair y'all I've been using a folding chair like a card table folding chair to do my work and that's what I use in my office and I don't have a actual chair yet so the fact that they both that they that I've been spending all this money on them to get their rooms together and then they treat the stuff that I buy like it ain't nothing that's not working for me because I'm sacrificing by sitting at a freaking in a freaking card chair card table chair and you got a whole daggone uh, gaming chair that's like comfortable and you can rock and back, you can, know, you can lean back in and you know, you got luxury. And I got not luxury. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to switch. We're going to turn the tables on that. I can't, I can't uh, subscribe to people, to my kids treating things that I pay for like they're, that they are of no value. So now I have a new office chair for the week. pretty much an epic fail I this chair is going to be linked in my Amazon store because it's not that I don't recommend it but I don't recommend the white yeah I don't recommend any light colors because the material is going to hold on to whatever stains um you get on it and it's just not going to look its best after a while I mean it wasn't you know uber expensive it was $125 or like $130 something like that so probably on the more low end of gaming chairs but the comfort, A1. Like the chair itself is really nice. I feel like the quality is good. I gave it a pretty good scrub and you can see that it's still there, but also you can see right here where it's kind of um, starting to, I kind of scrubbed too hard, I guess, and it came off right there. So it didn't release any of the stains. All of them are still here. Even like she got Pim right there. She got Pim right here. She got Pam right there. All of the stains on the arms are still there. Nothing is coming out. So it is like clinging to these stains for dear life. So yeah, overall still doesn't look terrible, but what you could probably do is paint it like a, a white, like a white fabric paint and see if that would, I mean, obviously that would cover the stains, but I think it also would probably hold up better. Um, than this material that's here right now. But yeah, I just wanted to show y'all. All right, so I got these up on the wall. You have to let this sit for 24 hours before you can actually like put the shelves on it and stuff. But yeah, so this is ready to go. Now we just gotta wait until tomorrow morning. We'll put the shelves up and then start putting products on the shelves.
Back up, because I'm trying to do an outfit of the day. Outfit of the day. Hey. Outfit so can you please give me two the day. Hey. Don't tell me I better give you nothing. No more. Where my boot go? Where my boot? Alright, hopefully y'all can see me, but uh, y'all seen this sweater a million times. Uh, old navy jeans, popped on a belt real quick, and then so put on you, so these can boots. You, can you leave me alone? I'll see. Which I showed y'all this morning from Amazon. Okay, hopefully y'all were able to see my outfit. <laughs> Just got all of the um, neon lights for Kane's room. So, I wanna open them real quick before we leave so I can see which ones we're gonna keep and which ones we're gonna send back. So this is one, it's headphones. And again, we won't be able to actually hang these up on the wall until after we get it painted. Um, plug it in, because it won't make sense to start putting stuff on the walls and then have to take it down now that I know we're about to get the house painted look at it it's so cute Kay, look. Okay. so that's one it's a controller upside down but Okay, yes, because this is so cute. Like, how cute is this, y'all? It's so cute. Okay, the Pac-Man sign is coming tomorrow, so I'll show y'all that tomorrow. But um, let's look at the last controller, which I think I'm going to go ahead and take back today because I really like that one. Yeah, this one is tiny. I'm not gonna open it because the lights are pretty much the same, but like, and they ain't really no comparison. Like this one look way better. And as soon as the Pac-Man sign comes, I'll show y'all that. I'm gonna go ahead and box this back up so I can take it back to Amazon today, since we already had it that way. And then, um, other than the comedy show, we're also gonna go to our house today to look so um, Bernie can see the couch and see if he likes it. And then we're also going to. I can look at it now. Uh, go to UPS, take the stuff back, and go to probably Lowe's or Home Depot and look at paint. This one's a little bit more like bluish or purple. You see how it's like the undertones look different on each one. It's picking up on camera too. I would. I like I I'm fine with this kind, but I don't want them to have this. This what's this called? I would prefer if they were without that. Like none of these things that they can break. These uh, I don't know what you call these. All these attachments and stuff that they come with. They have the kind that don't have those. I'm sure they're more expensive, but. How you raise them alone without the ropes? You just lift them up and pull them down. Here you go one. I mean, this is not the same kind, but you lift it and then you pull it down. You lift it and it stays. And you pull it down when you're ready to close it. Yeah, but that's gonna be I mean, I don't want that kind. It's ugly. But I'm just saying, that's just an example of how it works. Like, here goes some without any um without any strings or anything where right there just don't move just don't lift it's already broke somebody broke it in the dag on still see that's why i'm scared to get blinds because <clears throat> something i just don't trust it this is what we're doing yeah 
All right, so we just finished at Home Depot and the next stop is our house to our house. Like, it's our house. Cause I want him to sit on his sofa and see if he likes it. So move the pillows and then start actually operating. Hi, how are you? Start actually, sit on this, it's in right here. And I operate the thing so you can see how it feels like on your head and stuff and see if you, how, if you think it's comfortable. You already said that. It's inside, like put your hand down to the left. You looking like that? Why are you looking like that? Hold on. Okay, now do it. Tell me that's not comfortable. You want a recliner for comfort, right? Where would we thinking about a recliner for? You don't like it? No. Oh my gosh. <sighs> we ain't gonna never agree on nothing. All right, let me show you this. Do you like this table? <clears throat> or do you like the table, the first table I chose better? No, what? No, that's not the table. I don't like that. Like the square table, not the We got, table, the table like yeah, the table I'm thinking yeah, about getting from is RH cool is, is rectangular. Mm -hmm. I don't like this one. This is the bench we got, except in the charcoal. I think that was the only, all right, so come sit on this couch over here if we didn't go with a recliner. Tell me how you like this couch. It's not a recliner, it's just a couch. Yeah, so what we would do is get one, get like a love seat like this, but then one would be a... Yeah. Oh my God. We ain't gonna never have a couch in our bedroom. There's the chandelier that we got. Tell me it's not pretty. Much, if you ask me. It's what? Little much. For the dining room? Yeah. How is it a little much for the dining room? <clears throat> he ain't gonna like nothing I like. That's clear. Look at this one. This is the same chandelier but round. Ain't it pretty? No. Oh my god. I told you. Get out of here. <laughs> I'm done. Not you pretending to play the game. This was real level. It is. This is a... Oh, like, look new. This look old. I don't like this couch. But it is real leather. Ooh, this leather is soft. That will come in fabric, too. But I don't like these. T I don't like it tufted like this. Let me show you um, these nightstands. Oh, 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 dining room chair. Come here, let me show you this. These are actually kind of cute. What you think about these? Sit in this and see if it's comfortable. Is it comfortable? It's comfortable. Enough to sit down and eat. Yeah. That's the thing, it's hard to move though. Well, it's hard to move because it's on this thick rug. Yeah, yeah blame the rug. It's literally on a thick rug. I know what you mean. You mean let's blame the rug? It's gonna be on just, I'm not putting a rug on our dining room table. This is comfortable. But I wanted to show you this other one. Those are $1,000 per chair. Like, that is crazy. So no. You like that chair? Mm -hmm. What chair? You 
said the chairman. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not talking about that. I thought you were looking at something else. Well, this one expensive too, but you like the way this one look? Oh, that's right. This one didn't come in the type of fabric I needed it to come in anyway. Do you like this nice stand if it was in black? Or do you like the ones I showed you, the other ones I showed you with the marble top? That thing is huge. It's basically two drawer dresser. We have huge amount of space on both sides of the bed. Sorry, how much is Um, I don't remember. The price on it is probably different because I think they cheaper online. What's the price? Four thousand. No, it's not. It's eleven ninety nine, right there. Might as well be four thousand. I'm done. Eleven ninety nine might as well be four thousand. What don't you like about this couch? It looks stupid and it feels bad. <sighs> okay. No resolution. Still haven't found a couch. Ooh, can you grab one of those magazines? And uh, we are gonna be furniture list in our room forever. We will never find a couch that we both like. What's up, y'all? So, welcome back. Oh, not welcome back. <laughs> we were here yesterday, so this is not a new video. This is not the start of a video. This is a continuation of a new day. It's now Sunday. Um, and I realized that I did not show y'all the last thing I got from Amazon yesterday. And also, the Pac Man light is supposed to be coming today. So, I can't wait to show y'all that. But, um, this is the last thing I got from Amazon. So, it is one actually something that I saw in a YouTube short. Let me pause my show. I'm watching the new season of Married at First Sight. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so essentially what this is, is like a cleaning system. So it's like this spin brush, but then it also comes with a ton of different attachments and it has like, you can elongate it so you can use it on your shower walls and floors and you can clean so many different areas of your house with this. Um, like you can use it on your stove, you can use it on your floors, you can use it on anything. There's so many different attachments. That's really all I know about it. But here are all of the attachments. And from what I understand, it also comes with a um like a telescoping mechanism that you can use to like elongate it so that you can then use it in um places where you don't you know you can use it without having to strain your back or whatever you can just kind of reach down or reach up and scrub things without and it'll kind of reach it for you i saw this on a, a youtube short i just went ahead and bought it i didn't even like thoroughly research it or look at the i never buy things without looking at the reviews i don't know why i did that but anyways if it's no good you know what's gonna happen we're gonna take it back because i have no shame in my game when it comes to returning things that do not work for me so yeah i don't believe there's anything else that I need to show y'all with regard to new deliveries. I think that's it. I know it's something else I wanted to say, but I can't remember what it is. So I'm gonna think about it. Be back, cause I remember it. Okay, so yeah, this lighting. Uh, anyways, ignore it. Okay, so the comedy show was so good we had so much fun um we went to the funny bone in richmond if you are in the area i would highly recommend it it was really really a lot of fun um the comedians were great they were really funny we the um first comedian was bishop um is what his stage name is he goes uh his instagram is i am no his instagram is mr bishop live um and then the second comedian was Spencer Neal and his Instagram is I am Spencer Neal 
And then the third comedian was Earthquake. I think I told y'all that Earthquake is who we went to see. So he was the headliner and his show was really funny too. Also a little bit thought provoking. He was talking about like having life insurance and making sure that you, you know, don't leave your family with burden and stuff like that when you go. Um, so I was like, yeah, we need to get some better life insurance policies. <laughs> so we'll probably be doing that this weekend. Um, well, today's the last day of the weekend. I'm going to be looking into it today. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, we had a good time. I think we're going to go to another one probably next month. The only thing I would say is if you're going to go to that particular funny bone, do not eat the food. Y'all, it was not good at all. We ended up with like an $80 bill and we didn't even drink. Like I got a sparkling water that was $5. Birdie got a Corona that was six fifty, and then we got some food and he got a soda and how that bill was $80 I have no idea I'm pretty sure we got overcharged I would never eat there again it was just not good the food was just wasn't even worth $30 let me put it like that so just eat first if you're gonna go <laughs> um but yeah it was fun and then what else I think that's it as far as the comedy show goes Hey y'all, so it's like maybe three or four days later. It's been a minute since I talked to y'all, but first of all, I sprained my wrist. I have no idea how I did that, but my wrist is sprained. I can barely use this hand, so I'm struggling right now. Um, but they are actually outside doing, putting in our new air conditioning unit. I told y'all we had a, um, that the condenser wasn't working. So the solution was for them to replace the entire air conditioning unit versus just replacing the condenser. Oh my gosh, my arm hurts so much. I mean, my wrist hurts so much. I'm trying to put the cover over me. I have a meeting in a couple minutes, literally three minutes. Um, but I'm gonna try to vlog a little bit today. I need to do... Uh, some filming of a video. I think I'm going to log off work early today and maybe just do a half day because I'm struggling to, you know, do things with this hand. <laughs> um, I'm going to have to get King to help me set up this, that machine so that I can get that going, the sous vide, so I can get that um, video filmed because I can't, I really have had, I had a hard time buttoning my jeans this morning. That's how bad this is. So I'll see y'all in a little while once, um, once it's time to start opening a lot of these um, packages and just kind of going through the motions so yeah all right y'all so i just left urban care pulling up back at home um and what they said was that it could have been a sprain but it also could be carpal tunnel or it could be a ganglion cyst and what that is is basically like a non-cancerous cyst that's on your hand or your wrist uh, causes pain all the things so um i had to get x-rays done they are checking the x-rays and they're going to call me back with the results and um from there we'll know i guess they'll have a little bit more information from the uh results she also wrote me a prescription for some kind of anti-inflammatory pain medication. And she said I should be taking that two times a day with food. So uh, she put that in. I'm going to go pick it up or either Bernie's going to pick it up on his way home. Okay. So the first thing that... Corey, can you turn that down some? Turn down for us. Containers. I'm trying not to show y'all my address. <laughs> Um, I got these because they're glass containers, but they're also a little bit bigger than the ones that we have right now. Who is this called? Oh, I think this is them calling about the x-rays. Let me answer this. All right, y'all. So it is a couple hours later. I just, uh, I mean, I got off the phone with the nurse and then I had to call to make an appointment with the hand doctor or the hand specialist. Um, so essentially what she said is based on my x-rays, they were able to figure out that I have scapulonate dissociation which basically means that the tendon in my wrist is damaged and it's because it's damaged it's causing the bones in my wrist to separate they're not staying where they're supposed to be they're separating and that's what's causing pain so typically that is caused by some sort of 
trauma like a fall usually the most frequent way that people get it is by falling on an outstretched hand and when i found that out i thought about it and remembered that i fell um a couple weeks before christmas december 15th when i went actually y'all with me um i went to my office holiday party um in dc and the food that i ordered from sous vide was delivered to the old house accidentally so i ended up having to go to the old house to pick up the food and when i was running up the stairs to get it it was raining outside i slipped and fell caught myself with my hands didn't think anything of it but that's the only time i fell so i'm assuming that's where it came it came from so when you fall you get a little a small fracture in the bone in your um forearm and then it causes the tendon to become damaged and then that causes the bones to separate because the tendon is not i mean not tendon the ligament is not working properly so yeah oh that's what it is this hand is essentially unusable right now because it hurts so bad to use it but i'm about to show y'all um oh this delivery let me see okay so all right so this is one of them it's a how many pieces oh one two three four five six seven ten piece set or ten ten containers total 20 pieces these are nice they feel nice and sturdy i'm definitely keeping these i can tell y'all that already it's gonna be hard for me to like open them and stuff ah, ah, ah. um these remind me of pyrex so if you have seen pyrex dishes before these look and feel exactly like those you can see that it has like that kind of rim around the top. I like it. And then it the rim allows you to hook these things onto it. There are a few different sizes and a bunch of, I mean, a few different shapes and a bunch of different sizes. So rectangular, this one's kind of small, but it's good to have big and small containers because then you can, if you just have like a little bit of something left over, you want to be able to put that into a container. But then if you have a lot of something left over, you also want to be able to put that into a container. So that's what I was missing. I have like medium sized containers, but I don't have big ones and I don't have small ones. So that's what I was looking for. Um, here's another kind of smaller one that is square. These are really good quality. I can feel already that they're nice. And then we got two more, um, one that's a little bit larger and then one a smaller one inside. Then we have some rectangular ones, same thing. It's a little bit bigger and then a couple smaller ones inside. These aren't that big, so. Okay, I just might have to buy another set because these aren't as big as I thought they were or as, as big as I need. I need some containers that are big enough to put like, if I'm making soup, you know, like when you make bigger batches of things, like, and you just need somewhere to put that stuff. Like, I may be able to make it work with a couple of these. So I see how these work. Um, I like these, so I'm gonna keep them. Um, I can tell they're good quality. So yeah, I'm gonna keep these. But um, I wanna see how, how they work in my kitchen over time and if I need to add a little bit more, like a couple more containers that are a little larger. All right, there we go. That's better. This is what they look like. Y'all can get a better idea of how they look. 10 pieces, uh, 10 containers. All right, I pretty much know what this one is, but I'll show y'all anyway. So I ordered Bernie a PS5. Oh my God. I ordered my PS5. So basically he wanted it, but he didn't want to, pay, he didn't want to buy it. So I went ahead and ordered it for him and I didn't tell him about it um, until after I ordered it. And then he was happy about it. So. He got the PS5. This one comes with God of War Ragnarok and it's actually on the cheaper side as far as PS5s go. It's the, um, it is the digital edition. So it's the one that you can only use digital games. You cannot actually put a game into it, like a physical disc. It won't accept that. It don't have, it doesn't have a slot to put games in. You have to buy them all digitally. Um, the downfall with this one is that you're going to run out of storage eventually. So you probably will have to get a um external hard drive to hold all of your games if you are downloading too many games but he doesn't really download a ton of games and he doesn't play a lot of games so i think he'll be okay and if he needs an external hard drive he can get one so oh okay well flash drive that's no big deal so yeah that's his so this one is just hair products so i ordered a few different things i ordered this 
um, Olaplex 9 Serum. And this is just to make my hair look shiny and stuff. I want to straighten it. I don't know how I'm going to do that with one hand. <laughs> I was planning on washing my hair and like straightening it. I was planning on trimming it. So I bought a pair of shears. Um, and now I don't know. These are Utopia Care. I'll put them in my, in the like hair, nail, beauty section um, in my Amazon store. I got some edge control, mostly because it came with, I was really looking for edge brushes. And this edge control came with two edge brushes and two um, like edge scars. So yeah, I'm gonna try out this edge control. We'll see how it works. I think maybe it'll work on Corey. We can use it on her hair or something. But the brand look is- Look how crazy my hair looks. Yeah, you need your hair done, but I don't know how I'm gonna do it now. Cause, <laughs> but the brand is Go, Go Ipple. Go Ipple? I don't Can know I how you pronounce that. Non-greasy natural. Oh, one is strawberry scent edge control, and the other one is pineapple scent. After this one, I think we gonna have to do the rest tomorrow because my 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 hands hurt. I'm gonna wait for Bernie to bring me my prescription, and hopefully that will help. And tomorrow my hand won't hurt as much. But I don't know that I can. <laughs> like this is a lot. This is more hair products. This is one that I've been wanting to try. It's actually like um, for making sure that your hair doesn't get frizzy. So it's called Wow Color Wow Dream Coat Supernatural Spray. Uh, magically transforms texture, amazing humidity proofing power. So it's for guarding your hair against humidity so it won't get puffy and, um, you know, crazy. So I got that and then I also got a mask for my hair. So this is the Maui Moisture Smooth and Repair Vanilla Bean Hair Butter for frizzy and unruly hair. All this stuff is first time stuff. All, everything that I got is a first time, my first time trying it. So I'll let y'all know how I like it once I get a chance to actually start using this stuff. Um, the next thing I got was a bathing suit for me because we are have a um membership at the y and i want to take them swimming and potentially put corey into swimming lessons so i need to have a bathing suit because she can't get in the pool you have to pass the swimming test to get into the pool alone and she can't swim so i have to get in with her even though she has a floaty i have to be able to get in with her and just watch her this is what it looks like this is actually i thought really cute i'm gonna put a picture of it um what it looks like on amazon up on the screen I ordered this in a 2X. Um, this is what it looks like. Uh, so Y'all can kind of see how it looks. Um, and then it kind of has like that ruching. So it kind of tummy, hides your tummy a little bit. So that's what it looks like. We'll see how it looks on. Hopefully it's not too much. If it is, I'll just send it back and order something else. We'll see. It didn't look too crazy because you could kind of, you know, you could kind of move these pieces to make it show more or less. So I like that about it. But we'll see how it looks on. I'm not super top heavy, so I think it'll be fine. And I'll unbox the rest of the stuff tomorrow and show y'all what I have. 